Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I'm like super zoomed in. So I did something a little bit different for you guys that I don't think I've ever done. I've done a lot of bright looks before, um, but I've been encouraged to do more brighter looks for you guys. Some of you guys are asking for me to do brighter looks. Um, this one is kind of a summer into fall, if you will. Um, I mean, we're coming into August now, and when fall rolls around, a lot of us like to wear warmer colors, especially like warmer browns, warmer maroons. Um, just more kind of warm, earthier tones. So I thought I would mix an earthy tone with a red on the lid. Um, I've never done a look like this before, so I thought it would be fun. Um, and I had a red eyeshadow from Sephora that I wanted to play with, so I thought I would just experiment a little it's bit. It's fun, but it's not completely out of the box. You know, it's still pretty comfort zone-ish with my, you know, warm crease color here. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial, and I will talk to you guys later. So I already did my brows um, using Dip Down um, Fluid Line from MAC and then cleaned up a little bit with concealer. And I already primed my eyes with my NARS Smudge Proof um, Eye Primer. So we're going to go ahead and get into the eyeshadow. You do not have to use the colors that I used. Um, these are just guidelines. Um, I know that some of you guys have asked me, um, like, oh, can you do drugstore versions of the tutorials you're doing? Um, keep in mind that you don't have to use the eyeshadows I use to recreate the same exact look. There are tons of drugstore brands, um, Wet n Wild, L'Oreal, Revlon, that are extremely dupable for a lot of the eyeshadows that I use. This is just what I happen to have, so by all means, duplicate them with other eyeshadows. You do not have to use the same exact ones that I have. That being said, I am going to go ahead and just kind of describe eyeshadows instead of telling you what they are. Um, but I will list everything down below, but as I'm doing the tutorial, I'll just describe what the eyeshadows are. So for example, I'm going to go in with a soft brown eye color just to kind of use as my best friend blending color. Um, Wet n Wild has a really good color that's very similar to this in their vanity palette. So if you are looking for a similar color in the drugstore, um, check out Wet n Wild. Um, this is basically just going to be your transition color. And I was asked the other day by a client like how, like what steps I do my eyeshadow. Um, I normally do a blending color first. Um, I don't usually do it after. I'm not really sure why, um, but I, I discovered <laughs> yesterday that it's because I actually use it to shape my eye and where I want my eyeshadow to go. So I usually lay down the blending color first just to kind of shape my eye a little bit and it kind of um, basically contours my eye, if you will. And then I'm going to go in with a super, super bright red color. This one is, um a nice bright matte red and I'm just going to use a flat shader brush to do that and this is going to go all over our lid. If you want to use a base, go ahead. Um, I'm kind of going for a softer sort of red brick color and as you can tell it's quite intense so you are not obligated to use a base. If you do want to use a base I would choose um, white if you will. Uh, white will make it stand out more if you want it to be like super super bright. Um, but I'm not aiming for like anything like super crazy intense. I'm literally laying down the color and then going to blend it out with the same blending brush that I used earlier. And then I'm going to lay another color right here in the crease. So I'm basically putting this on two thirds of my lid, leaving that little corner a little open. And then just to avoid harshness, just going to kind of blend that out. Red eyeshadow is kind of hard to find. I have yet to find a drugstore um, eyeshadow that's very intensely red. I know that Wet n Wild has one in their pop art collection, their newest one. And then I believe they've made one before in a Christmas palette that they had. But I honestly don't think it's that pigmented. That's just me though. Um, when I was playing with it and swatched it, it was a little bit patchy. And it was super, super hard to work with. It was kind of a pain. So... Personally, I didn't end up keeping that palette. It did look really, really pretty. It had like reds and blacks and everything. I'm not sure if you guys even remember that palette, but I think it was a six pan palette. So again, just kind of blending out the edges a little bit so they don't look overly like heavy. And the best way to use a red, especially if it's matte, is to pat it in and then blend it if you have to. Well, at least in my experience. Um, that way it doesn't look super patchy and you get that really intense like red. I'm going to go in with a fluffy crease brush, um, similar to a MAC 219, 217, sorry. Um, but this is the Sephora Collection one, uh, number 27. Um, I'm going to go in with a burgundy, like a matte burgundy color, kind of red wine-ish, if you will. 
Um, and I'm going to use this as a blender color right here. And this is going to go into my crease and to help blend out that red. And it just creates like a nicer fade. Surprisingly, I thought Kat Von D would have a red, but I don't think she does now that I think about it. I'm like trying to think of all the brands with the red eyeshadow. Makeup Forever, Sephora Collection, Wet n Wild. Um, not a lot of brands make red. I know MAC has a red, but I'm not sure like the pigmentation or quality of it. Um, I've tried Red Brick before. Red Brick is nice. It kind of leans a little bit more orangey though, so it's kind of like a reddish orange. But that one's a nice one. You can use that one. That one's good in the crease, I think. And then again, just taking a blending brush to just kind of fade out the edges. I like using like little baby circular motions to kind of fade it out a little bit. I'm going to take the same dark burgundy color and kind of run that underneath my lower lash line. Just to kind of just so that the whole thing's not like not so top heavy. Just like that. If you need to touch up the red um, based on whichever red that you use, go for it. My red's still pretty intense, so I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna go ahead and do my highlight color. As per usual, it's usually Max Vanilla. <laughs> but you can use any like soft white beige that you have. Um, if you want to do a shimmer because you feel like the rest of you is super, super matte, go for it. Um, but I personally really like like a soft kind of, um, a soft cream color. And I usually just kind of pop that on and then blend it softly with my finger. Now, I am personally going to do lashes. It's totally up to you. I will be doing my liquid liner on the top, and I'll be using L'Oreal's The Super Slim Infallible, which I've actually been really liking lately. And then I'm just going to use my Sephora liner um, right on my uh, bleh, waterline. <laughs> um, use whatever liner, whatever combination you want. Totally up to you. I am going to do my normal wing, pop on some lashes. Um, everything will, that I'm using will be listed down below, and then I will be right back. So here's the finished look, including my face, of course. Um, for my foundation, I did go ahead and use um, both my Urban Decay Naked Beauty Balm and my Urban Decay Naked Foundation. Um, shades and everything will be listed down below for anything that I'm mentioning. Um, I contoured just a little bit um, with Benefits Hula. And then for my blush, I used uh, Max Cheeky Bronze. Um, just kind of like right here on my cheek. And then highlighted with Max Soft and Gentle. Just a little bit on my cheekbone. Down the bridge of my nose. For my lashes I use Red Cherry 82's. They're like kind of soft. Not super crazy. Um, just adding a little bit of definition. You can pop mascara on these. These are the kind of lashes that you can put mascara on. Um, but otherwise I kind of like that they looked a little bit natural. And they just made the base of my um, lash line look a little bit thicker. Um, so for my lips I'm going to keep it pretty pretty nude. Um, I'm not going to do any lip liner because I want my lips to look very soft considering how intense I am on the eyes. Um, so I'm going to use Max Brave New Bronze and just kind of slap that on. Um, I think this was a, this one's a satin or an amplified uh, finish. Without a liner, this just kind of like mutes out my lips a little bit, which I like. So I actually kind of like the look of this. If you have thinner lips, by all means, use a lip liner. Um, my lips are pretty plump, so um, I don't mind not using lip liner sometimes. I only use it to add like definition and depth. Um, I am going to go ahead and top it off with um, Buxom's White Russian. And then it'll just kind of add a little bit of oomph in the middle. Just like that. And that's pretty much the finished look. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!